Жгут, блядь, ни рэба, ни хуя, ничего нету. Выжги нахуй, в морду уебала, сука. Ни рэба, ни хуя. Ебать. Тоже хотя бы птички нахуй. Птичек надо, пиздец, жгут, суки. Сегодня ночью. Сожгли, бля, бронеру. Вот. Жгут у нас, бля, сидимейшие проклятые. Сегодня ночью. Дерево бывало. Так что нужна пани помощь. Нужна помощь. Рэпом, птички. Чем можете, короче. Опа, да, здесь. А, уважаемые подписчики нашей группы, вот еще одно доказательство, для чего нам нужен рэп на автомобиль. Ехал автомобиль без рэпа, за ним полетел FPV, трон Камикадзе и врезался в него. К счастью, водители и пассажиры все остались живы. Вот еще очередная машина. Паренек, блядь. Сгорела она. Я сгорела. Это сегодня ночью. Ебал вот КамАЗ и там Тигр. Все дотла сгорело, блядь. И погибли люди. Погибли люди. Forgotten lesson from Soviet times. Putin in Cuba flexes his muscles in front of Biden. Russian President Vladimir Putin is flexing his muscles in front of the United States by sending a naval frigate and a nuclear submarine to Cuba. Buckingham University professor Antony Glees stated this in a commentary for the Daily Star. The Russian Ministry of Defense stated that the exercises of the Kazan submarine and the Admiral Goshkov missile frigate including firing high-precision missiles at fictitious targets. Cuba assured that none of the ships had nuclear weapons. The U.S. added that the exercises do not pose a direct threat to them. However, the expert suggested that Russian ships are still equipped with weapons. This show of force was a deliberate provocation and also a reminder that Putin wants to be seen as the heir to Soviet communism with its global ambitions, he explained. Glees emphasized that Admiral Goshkov is one of the most powerful ships of the Russian Navy. It carries the latest long-range surface-to-air missiles, surface-to-surface -surface missiles, and advanced Russian anti-submarine weapons. Entering Havana Harbor, the frigate fired 21 shells. A submarine came after him. This was the largest show of force by Russia in the Caribbean, just 90 miles from Florida in many years, the expert noted. He explained that against the backdrop of permission from the United States to hit targets on Russian territory, evil Putin is trying to flex his muscles in front of Biden. His goal is to scare Americans into believing that Russia's power is still something to be reckoned with. And yes, there is a clear intention here to show the US that Russia has not forgotten Cuba, the only true communist theme park in the Caribbean, Glees said. There is an important lesson from the 60s to remember, he said. We see the 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis as a brilliant victory for President John Kennedy and the West over the Russians. He stood firm against Nikita Khrushchev and the nuclear weapons on the island were removed. Khrushchev ultimately fell because of them. Yes, Kennedy in return removed American nuclear weapons from bases in Turkey. But even in this case, the West, firmly united under the leadership of a powerful and decisive U.S. president, struck the USSR, the expert explained. He suggested that Putin had forgotten this lesson from the past. <laughs>